M0FX I want to show you how quick you can set up the RSBA1 for the ICOM 7300. So we've got the cable connected between the radio and the PC. So we just turn on the ICOM utility here. And at the moment nothing is connected. No radio, no server. Now when it's just cable to radio, you don't need to set up the server. So you just go to radio list and then go setup wizard. Click this one here, the bottom left is cable to PC sorry radio to PC then you get this window come up and just go next it finds the radio look see that's USB selected next uh, the address is 94 the radio's board rate is 115 200 set that in the radio it's found the COM port on its own next radio name next and finish and then look we are now set up now we just got to connect and we can before we connect we can change the settings so we can choose I'll choose my desktop computer and the de default microphone I could choose one I'm talking into now you know uh, I'll just I think I'll leave it as default for now and we'll just click OK and then we'll just click connect and it's told me the serial port number is 4 click OK and straight away we've got some noise here. Now we haven't turned the radio on yet. So now we click on the this icon, which is called the remote remote control software. And then we can turn the radio on. I've, I've just heard the radio come on. You can hear it. The scope's come to life. Now we can turn the volume up. Down. If it's not good conditions, we can back off the RF. Now, if you right click any of these buttons, you not every single one, but you get you know the control. Right click control. Obviously, you can change the band. Now, I'm hearing all of this, and it means I don't have to sit. The thing I like about it is I don't have to sit in front of the 7300, I can do everything you know at a distance. Turn the power down here. We can uh, turn on the tuner. Uh, I'm not sure why I can't. Oh, am I out of band? Oh, there'll be a reason, but normally you can turn on the tuner and then you can tune. Oh, it's tuning now. There you are. So the tuner must have already been on. So you, you can hear it tuning there. We've got the signal meters all here, filters. Everything's here, all these different things. And the, the other cool thing is, is we turn the scope off and on. But we can also um, turn the radio off. Before I do that, I'm just going to show you in the, when you're in this section about the volume control. You've got AF here. You can turn these sliders up and down. Just close that down. And you've got mod here as well. And uh, if you're doing a digital, you select the middle one. But I think if you're doing digital, you better just to direct it, connect it straight to the, the program. But... Um, I have been doing it wireless as well on the 705. So 73, I hope you find this interesting. Just, I just highly recommend this program, RS-BA1 Control. I just think it's excellent. All the best.